A Friend Like Simon by Kate Gaynor. Hi, my name is Matthew, and I would like to tell you a story about a friend of mine. His name is Simon. Simon joined my school last year, and I remember his first day very well indeed. When I arrived at the door of my classroom, Simon was standing outside with his mom. Hi, I'm Matthew, I said. Simon's mom gave me a big smile. It's nice to meet you, Matthew, she said. Simon, would you like to say hello to Matthew, she asked. But Simon just turned away and looked at the ground. Our teacher told us that Simon would be joining our class that year. He would take part in most of our lessons, but sometimes he would get help with his schoolwork from a special teacher, too. I thought Simon would really like our school a lot. It really is a great school, apart from just one thing, a girl called Heidi, or horrible Heidi as I like to call her. Heidi was always pushing her way to the front of the queue at lunch. I'm next, she said when it was someone else's turn, and then she would make a horrible, mean face. Every day after we ate our lunch, my friends and I would go to the schoolyard and make up new fun games to play. On Simon's first day, I asked him if he wanted to join in, but Simon seemed to like being on his own. As time went by, I noticed how Simon acted a little differently from the other boys and girls in my class. Sometimes he would get upset about something small, like someone bumping into him by accident. No one could understand why or even what he was upset about. Simon always liked to arrange the books and pencils on his desk in the same way every day. He didn't like it very much when anything changed at all. Sometimes he would get upset about things like the school bell ringing or having to move seats. Because Simon was a little different from my other friends, I soon stopped asking him if he wanted to take part in games and sometimes I got annoyed if the teacher tried to get him to join in. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to have a friend like Simon. When the time came for the big school trip to the fun fair, all the boys and girls had to pair up and find someone to sit with on the bus. Why don't you and Simon pair together today, asked our teacher. So Simon and I sat together on the way to the fun fair. Simon took out his sandwiches. Do you like sandwiches, I asked him. Do you like sandwiches, he repeated, and then handed me his lunchbox to share them with me. Thanks, Simon, I said, but Simon was busy looking out the window. Later that day, while Simon and I were waiting in the queue for our ice cream, horrible Heidi marched over to the ice cream van. I'm next, she said in the mean voice. Just as horrible Heidi was starting to push her way in front of us to the top of the queue, Simon suddenly shouted, no, very loudly indeed. Heidi got such a fright, her pigtails flew up in the air. She quickly turned around and ran off. Thanks, Simon, I said. Thanks, Simon, he replied, looking up at the lights of the big Ferris wheel. From that day onwards, I always made sure to ask Simon if he wanted to have lunch with me or play a game during break time. Some days he would join in, but other days he just wanted to be on his own, which was okay too. The other boys and girls in school soon learned that even though sometimes Simon acted a little differently from us or didn't have a lot to say, he was just the same as everyone else in our school. Simon helped me see that leaving someone out because they're different is only something that only a horrible Heidi would do. He also showed me just how great it is to have a friend like Simon. Do you have a friend like Simon? Simon.